Alright, so we made a working battery powered lawnmower. It looks okay. like this. I think it's pretty understandable from the sense of you got the battery, you got the inverter, and you got your drill, which is the motor, and the thing that kind of holds everything together while wow, this is warm. <laughs> now, is this the best lawnmower that you could possibly make? No, there's no. lots of losses and we can get rid of those. So talk to me about some of the losses. Let's start right at the blade. Where where coming from the blade and working our way back to the battery, where are the losses? So there's bearings, there's two bearings on the crankshaft mm -hmm. and so those are taking power. Okay, so that is a big efficiency. So just in this right here, ignoring everything else, just the motor itself had a lot of friction yeah, to begin with. What, what do we have next? What's our next source of loss? There's a gearbox in here. Okay. In the drill, there's a gearbox. That's giving you more torque. Okay, so more torque, but... There's a loss every a loss. time you make okay. a connection. Now, all right, so then we follow it yep, back. Yep, follow that. It's coming around, and then into the inverter. Inverter. Do we have losses in the inverter? Absolutely. Do we have a... Now, if you would compare the losses from, like, the gearbox or the inverter, do you think the inverter is, like, the biggest loss? Yeah, it could be. Probably the inverter is the biggest loss, but it's measurable. Okay. All right, so let's talk about battery here. Uh, it, the, the speed was significantly slower on this battery than plugged into the wall. Yeah, once we ran it down a little bit, it's almost in half. Yeah, so that's not great. We would want to use maybe a bigger battery. Much, much more powerful battery. And so what, we're talking like a car battery, right? No, a car battery is going to cost you around $175 and plus it could weigh 100 pounds, so it might not be worth it. So you think that's a bad idea? Yeah, bad idea. Okay, so then, well, I mean, if, we, if this doesn't work and this is the biggest battery that I've seen, uh, what else can we do? Jesse, I got solutions. We're going to go lithium. What? This will power our whole thing? Well, not one of those. Not one. We're going to use like 50 or 60 of those. We're going to make a pack out of lithium ion batteries. That's really exciting. So let me ask you, can we ditch the inverter? Yeah, we can ditch the inverter because I have a motor that runs on less than 120 volts. Okay. Uh, so That's like, it? Sure. Okay. Whoa. Ta da Awesome. So this is a DC motor, 48 volts. Cool. So this is a 48 volt battery? No, that's 3.7. So then what? <laughs> we can't use these lithium ion batteries. They don't have enough volts. Okay, so yeah, so you're going to have to add up those by going in series. Okay. Yeah. So this is 3.7 volts. Right. So and we got to get to 48. So I mean, let's let's take another one then. We got 3.7 volts, 3.7 volts is 7.4. Oh, okay. So we need 13 to get us to 48? Yeah. All right. That gets us, I mean, That'll it gets get us, us pretty close. close. All right. Okay, I got an idea. I'll be right back. 12, 13. Wait, what are you doing? What are you talking about? You said I needed 13 batteries to get the right number of volts. Okay, that's true, right? You got the right volts. So let's do it. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me hold on to All it. All right, good idea. Hey, look at that. Okay, spin it up again, because yeah. I gotta show you there's a problem with your idea here. What are you talking about? Look at, watch this. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Yeah, no, not perfect, because watch this, you don't have enough amps. I can hold it. Ah, crap. Okay, so I have 13 of them. Why is that not enough amps? Okay, so you're so it's like a TV series. You're in series and the voltage is getting higher, but the amps is still the same. You need to go wider. Oh, okay, I get it. So I was doing these all in series, which doesn't give me enough amps. Right. So I need to go in parallel. Yes. Great. <laughs> Wait, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you talking about? Look, look at this, right? I have enough amps now. Oh, hold Ready? on, let me hold it. Oh, wait, what the heck, man? That's way too slow. Look at this. You don't even need to hold it. Yeah. You said if I put enough amps in it, that it would, that it would be powerful enough. Okay, Jesse, now you have the amps, but you don't have enough voltage, and voltage is speed. Oh, okay. So... Now what am I supposed to do? I just had the voltage with the 13 in series, right. and now I did four in parallel and I had enough amperage. So I guess it's impossible to make them with lithium ion batteries, huh? No, well you've got both now. What do you mean? You gotta have the voltage and the amps. 
Okay, so I'm trying to wrap my head around volts and amps. Can you help me, Mr. G? Okay, so just think you have a water tower, right? Mm -hmm. the, the height of the water tower makes pressure come down. Yep. So you have a hose that goes up and the, the length of the hose, the height difference, the difference in pressure is your voltage. But then the size of the pipe is the amount of amps you can flow through. Oh, I see. Because you could have a really high pressure, but a really small pipe. Right. And then you'd have like a pressure washer, which could be useful for some things, but it wouldn't necessarily be able to like, you know, power anything. Right. So even static electricity is high voltage, but there's no amps there. So it's I not going to hurt you. I see. So in order to have a lot of power, you want to have a lot of volts, so a lot of height. And then you want to have a really big pipe, a lot of amps to be able to push all that voltage through it. There you go. Oh, okay. So the problem was, like with this for instance, not enough voltage, too low. Right. And then when I put them in series, not enough amperage, too narrow. Exactly. Oh, okay. So that was my problem. Yeah. How are you going to fix it? So I need a water tank that is both high enough and has a wide enough pipe. That's it. All right. So let's do that. All right. So we figured out that we need enough volts and we figured out that we need enough amps. Awesome, we're all set to go. Right, except you need to know how many watts. What? Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again, we'll see you soon.